Going in for that tune. Bad news guys, I couldn't finish my tune today. Uh, I guess there's this thing that I need for my fuel pump because we kind of just put it together without knowing that we need a, a rebuild a kit. A kit for the fuel pump to hold the 450 Wabro pump in there. I didn't know that. You learn the hard way, I guess. So I'm not gonna be able to finish the tune today. It sucks, but at least I can drive the car for now. I guess when he was tuning it, it just leans out really bad. So right now I just got my check engine line flashing because the tune's not done. My AFR is like all over the place right now. But, eh, fuck it, that is what it is. I'm gonna have to reschedule, but I'm not gonna be able to be here for the tune. And they're like really strict here and they don't let me film or any of that stuff. So sorry I couldn't get any film for you guys. I got one clip. That's what I was able to get, but, oh well. I'm just trying to show them what my fuel pump didn't have. So, my fuel pump didn't have this part right here. Yeah, so my fuel pump didn't, didn't have that part right there, what I just pointed out to you guys, which was causing the pump to move around in there and it was causing my car to lean out, so wasn't able to tune. So my boy, Kachua, blue evil in there is letting me have his and i'll give him mine that way i can be back i can take my car back monday or tuesday to retune and actually get my car up and running where do i dump it in the fucking gas tanks we have that's how much oh my god that's oh man that shit probably was just flogging around when he were doing pulls and shit hell oh, yeah look at that who's mad <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so what you see right there is how we took my car in to get tuned. Um, I had no idea that I needed that part. Uh, my boy Sam did, but since it was so last minute, we're like, fuck it, just send it. Let's see if I'm able to tune that way. And sure enough, I wasn't able to. The car was leaning out. Uh, like, like you heard in the vlog, uh, that fuel pump was just moving around in there probably like during pulls and it just leaned out. Uh, sucks. So I couldn't tune that day. That day was a Saturday, so I had to go back on Tuesday to get retuned. I didn't vlog that day until after I got the car back, so the footage that I'm about to show you is the car being tuned already and me driving home. And what are the freaking odds on the way home I run into another Evo and we race. It looked like he was about to start pulling, but he let off, so I didn't lose. <laughs> Alright, back to the vlog. Hi, Arsh. Nonsense! Yeah, I'm just kidding. Just wait. Not risk it.
Sorry, I have to interrupt again. In the last video, I told you guys to guess the numbers the Evo was going to put down. And a lot of you guys are super freaking close. I'm not going to lie, you guys are close. Alright, so I have a graph here in my hands. So on pump gas, I made... On pump gas, I made 308 to the wheel. And 323 torque. So again, this is a Mustang Dyno. So add 15% to this. And those are the numbers I made. On E85, I made 345 torque and 351 torque, which was not the numbers I was looking for. I made close to 410 wheel. Not bad. I mean, it still does pretty good. I raced my friend's Evo, which I'm going to show you guys a video in a little bit. He made actually 10 more wheel than me, and I got him. So that was cool to see i'm still learning the brake boost so you're gonna see that i was kind of like on and off with it so i'm getting better at it just give it some time repetition the more i do it the better i get at it so you're gonna see that race right now and yeah a lot of you guys were close to the numbers though so yeah, those are the numbers i made but there's an issue my car is misfiring it's uh check engine like keeps coming on it's, Oh, here, let me show you guys my numbers just in case you guys don't believe me. So the first one was my E85 and the second one was pump. Those are my numbers. So yeah, my check, uh, check engine light keeps coming on for... It's a uh, multiple misfire detected. It's a P0300. Either my spark plugs have too much gap or not enough gap. So I'm going to check it out and figure it out. But other than that... Car is running really good. I'm super happy with it. It feels pretty strong, pretty healthy. So I'm happy with that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to show you guys the uh, runs with the Evo. And then I'll see you guys at the end. So I'm about to race them in my Evo and see how I do. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm learning how to brake boost. I haven't mastered it yet, but uh, hopefully I get it down right now. Let's see how I do. Let's get it.
right, guys, I am gonna wrap this up. Had some good runs with my boy Drew, White Evo Football Time 85, pretty much same setup as me. So I am gonna end the vlog here. Uh, before I go, I just wanna say happy birthday to Mac Miller. Shout out to Mac Miller. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. I know today's his birthday, so I wanna say happy birthday to him. If I grew up listening to Mac Miller, I used to play Modern Warfare 2 all the time. Listening to Mac Miller. Mac Miller is a shit. I love Mac Miller. But he's in a better place now. I love his music. His music will live forever. So rest in peace, Mac. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that. So that is it. If you're not supporting the movement, techload.com. Link is down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below. What are your thoughts on the new exhaust law? And uh, I'll give you my thoughts on that. In the next video so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up for me subscribe to the channel if you're not already and guys remember why you started